Okay. Welcome to the 2009 Bug Videos. I'll be your host, Jesse Justice. And before we get started, a few rules do apply. Rule number one, when we're going north through town, that's going to equal gram positive. When we're going south through town, that is going to equal gram negative. The catalase cat equals catalase positive, and that high V alcohol equals oxidase positive. Now, these videos may seem a little confusing at first, but watch them a ton of times, you'll pick it up really quickly, and I guarantee this is definitely going to help your grade in micro, infectious, and on boards. So learn these videos and know them by heart. Before we get started, I want to thank a few people who had a lot to do with this project. Uh, Casey Lasher, Heather Shook, Josh Bellum, Mark Steeler, and myself spent most of the time writing these and producing them, and I want to thank those people and make sure they get special recognition. I also want to thank Walt and Mark Shin from the original videos, because without those guys, this would never have happened. Enjoy! Welcome to the 2009 Bug Videos. Here is the start of our bug adventure. We are going to start off going north through town. And when you think north, think ram positive. Now, we have a few choices when we're going north. We can go out to Highway 6, which is the sticks. And when you think of the sticks, I want you to think of filamentous rods. Or, we can head straight down 63. And if you're heading straight down 63, I want you to think of regular gram positive rods. Or, we can head down Business 63, which is also Franklin Street. And if we're heading down Franklin, I want you to think of gram positive cocci. Here we are in the car, and we decided to head down Highway 6. And when you think Highway 6, I want you to think sticks. Getting kind of rural, there's the sticks out here, filamentous rods. So first we will be doing Highway 6, the filamentous rods that are gram positive. Alright, you don't need to keep filming this. Why not? This is my favorite part is that they always film oh. when they're doing just driving. Here we are on Highway 6 and the first choice we have to make uh, about our gram positive filamentous rods is whether they're going to be acid fast or acid slow. And if we look over to the right, there's a graveyard here, and we are on the far east side of town. So I want you to think, dead people are slow, far east, Israeli. Israeli is the gram positive filamentous rod that is acid slow. And in a graveyard, since there's lots of bones and skeletons, the other thing I want you to think about as really I are molar tooth colonies. It forms molar tooth colonies on a plate of agar. time we just did acid slow now we're taking a left and going towards acid fast and when you think of fast I want you to think of young people they're really fast they're jet setting and they're likely to be members of a country club and out this way is the Kirksville Country Club and the thing is when young people go to a country club everybody knows who they are they're on the list they're members they never get carded so I want you to think acid fast young people no acardia All right, so also with these two bugs, I want you to remember the treatments form as well. And the treatments form form the acronym SNAP. Oh, SNAP. Sulfa treats noacardia, and actinomyces israelii is penicillin. <laughs> We're going north down Baltimore. I want you to think of gram positive rods. Uh, and if you notice, on the left up here are stores, and so I want you to think of spores. So when you see stores, think spore forming, gram positive rods. And on the right, there are no stores. So think no stores, no spores. Anything that's on the right side of Baltimore will not have spores. No stores. So here we are coming north on Baltimore, and I want you to think gram positive rods, rods are on Baltimore. When you are a gram positive rod, you have to decide if you are a spore forming rod or a non spore forming rod. On the right, we have no stores, no spores. On the left, we have stores. Stores think spores. If you are a gram positive rod that is a spore former, you have to decide if it's an anaerobe or an aerobe. And I want you to think sheep, 
aerobes, you're out in the open air, you're farming, Orschland Farm and Home, these are all aerobes. And when you think of sheep and you're out in farming and whatnot, I want you to think of anthrax, Bacillus anthrax. So, and also uh, to note with this bacteria, it is catalase positive. <laughs> and it also forms Medusa head colonies. Ready? All right, so here we're again, we're going north on Baltimore, so think gram positive. Uh, we're also by the stores, so think spore formers. And if you notice, these stores are closed in, so these are anaerobes. Um, and I want you to think they're all kind of clustered together, so think clostridium. And one of the stores that's in this complex is a sporting goods store. And when you think about sporting goods stores, I want you to think about tennis players and tennis rackets. And yeah. Clostridium tetani has tennis racket shape. So think tennis players, tennis racket, Clostridium tetani. And also here is a health food store and they sell honey. And I want you to think of Clostridium botulism for honey. And you get that, infants get that from honey. Low point. <laughs> There's also two other stores in this complex. Uh, Clostridium perfringens, and when you hear that, I want you to think gravy, and also Clostridium difficile, and when you think of that, think of antibiotic-induced pseudomembranous colitis. So here we are at the... All right. We're going north on 63, and we are on the right side, so there are no stores, no spores. These are gram-positive rods that do not form spores. And we have a decision to make when we get to the intersection of La Harp and Cottage Grove. We can either be acid fast, think fast, young people, young people are really fast, acid fast, we could head down Cottage Grove towards the high school, or we could be acid slow, think slow, think old people, think Kirksville Manor Care. Here we are at Kirksville Manor Care, and when you think of uh, nursing homes, I want you to think of old people, and old people take lots of medicine. I want you to think Kirksville Manor Care, old people medicine, medicine cabinets. So we're inside Kirksville Manor Care, and when I told you to think of old people, I told you to think of medicine, think of medicine cabinets. And this is our medicine cabinet, and let's see what we have inside. The first thing we have inside, is Listerine. When you think Listerine, think Listeria. And it's got a tumbling motility. It's hard to make this tumble and flip over, but you get the general idea. So think Listerine, tumbling, motility, Listeria. Second, we have Dr. Scholl's corn remover for corne bacterium. And it's supposed to look like Chinese characters. Personally, I've never seen it, but that's just what they tell me. Next, we have Acne medicine, and when you think of acne medicine, I want you to think of Propriobacter acne, all right? And the last one that we have in the medicine cabinet is, I want you to think of, of actual medicine, think erythromycin, sounds a lot like erythro... Erysipelothrix. Erysipelothrix, and I think it, it looks something like this. A purple rhomboid. Yes. I think it's a parallelogram. They, they said rhomboid in the yeah, other videos. Rhomboid. Here we are in front of the high school, and I told you when you think of the high school, think of young people. Young people are fast. Think of acid fast, non spore forming rods that are gram positive. And what is every young person's dream? Oh, I think you know. I think it's to be a rap star. And what do rap stars hold? They hold microphones. Think mycobacteria. Yo, baby, yo, baby, yo. Yo, yo, yo. I'm mycobacterium. I give all your homies granny lomies. Make me a sandwich and some waffle fries for free.